So as a person who has typed the phrase, can you fall in love with UI into the Google search bar at least once, it should come as no surprise that I might want to talk to you today about Finji's capsule. It's likely that you, the viewer, know about Finji because they've published Tunic, Overland, Night in the Woods, Wilmot's Warehouse, a bunch of recent classics in the indie game scene. But you might not know about Capsule, and that's why I'm talking about it. Capsule, as the name implies, has you taking control of some nondescript spacefaring vessel. The game is presented about as minimalistically as humanly possible, essentially being just like a CRT radar screen of the ship itself, and the controls are just moving and pinging the radar. That's it. The first time I booted up the game and played it, I totally missed that I actually had objectives and I just kind of flew off into the distance until I suddenly was outside the reach of any sort of resources and um, my ship ran out of power and I asphyxiated and died. And I thought to myself, this game rules. But then the second time I played through it, I noticed that there were actually little markers down in the corner guiding me towards a target. You get to that target, you dock with it, and you start to unravel this little narrative about what has happened to then what becomes a series of abandoned interstellar outposts, each time telling you to go to a station that's just a little bit further away than the one that you just got to. So the main push of the game then is managing your power and your oxygen. And as you get further down this little narrative thread, more and more obstacles like drones and ion storms and other things that can damage your ship and potentially leave you stranded start to pop up more and more frequently. But Capsule is mesmerizing. I don't know if it's that recently I'd been playing some space games that had left me pretty unsatisfied, but Capsule just rocked. And for a game with such a minimal presentation, it's still doing absolutely everything it needs to do to get you hooked and to draw you in and to keep you playing to the next objective. So I know the game is on Steam. I got it as part of an itch bundle, but please seek it out for yourself because it is so good. So yeah, if you love tastefully presented games with a heavy UI focus, Capsule is for you. Yeah, I just really love games with this kind of presentation, and uh, I'd like to play more of them, so if you know of any like Capsule, leave them down in the comments below. If you like this video, leave a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not subscribed already. We have a lot more videos like this, as well as analyses and documentaries and interviews. A whole mess of stuff for you to enjoy. As always, my name is Jake Terrio. This has been another episode of Play This on Subpixel. Thank you for watching.